welcome back to the Cobra Park Farm. In 1960, we are going around the outside of our field at the moment. So yeah, we are continuing with the spraying. We got rained off yesterday and the pigs on our ped, so that's something good came out of a wet day. We need to get all this spraying done during spring. We've got one more day of spring tomorrow before we get into the summertime. And weather forecast is for a wet start to summer. But we need to get the fertiliser on the ground, we need to get the grass cut and ted it into A to keep the horse stables busy. We need some straw for our pigs, we need some straw for the stables, that will come during the harvest. Fields are a little bit it and miss where it's growing. I mean the outsides of this looks a lot further behind a lot of the crop. But then that's because we had to skip from one day to the next to do the drilling. We run out of daylight. The first day was in here drilling. The sprayer should manage to get all the way around the outside of here. One of our neighbouring farms there, the other side of the road, their crop looks to be growing pretty well. We've got a, looks like we've got an empty field there. What they've got in there I don't know. We are going a little off track. And the track there, the other side of these trees to one of our neighbouring farms. Yeah, we shall see going forward how we can expand. Plans are to expand the farm as we go forward. So, uh, although at the moment we've got a loan to get cleared before we can expand, get the money in for harvest, then we should be able to soon get our debts cleared off, which will make things a little easier to move forward after that. We are now almost around the headlands and we're down to 39% of spraying the sprayer. But, uh, hopefully we can make it round and then fill up into the main rows of the field. Round we go. And yeah, we will, as always, continue to work the day out off camera so you see something different each and every day. Right, now we shall fold up our sprayer back up to the trailer and fill it up. Does need filling up here to get started. We haven't got enough to make it worth a while starting in the field. So we are full now. We will head back down to this other end. Start at this fair far side. At least we've got the tram lines to run in to get around. And we're not crushing any crop at all the time so uh, we do start here with some shorter rows. Now let's unfold the sprayer. do need to go down this outside first.
just to make sure we get every bit of this on the outside. The tram lines were pretty close together as we came forward. But, uh, yeah, here we go now. We've got most of the spraying done on that breed, but uh, back into this one. Field a little bit on the up and down side at this end of the field. But this spraying will, excuse me, <coughs> get us a good bumper crop. It will stop the weeds growing, which Now back into this half of the field. Got to set our throttle quite right, but uh, yeah, it should soon get a good ways through this field. Yeah. Once we get these big fields done, we will be uh, over halfway around all of our crops. We've got just some small fields at the yard that need doing. The wheat, barley and oil seed rape fields. Could do also with spraying the grass just to make sure there's no poisonous weeds for the horses at the stables and that field will also need spraying it does add the grass arrow on it so that's one good job done aerated the soil to make the grass grow a little better getting steadily into the longer rows here now Breed up here. We are still half full of fertilizer chemicals, so uh, everything working as you'd expect at the moment. In the sprayer boom is about right for what we got here. back in this one. There we go. Yeah, this is working out pretty nicely. We're getting a good way through the field with each passing move. Hope you like the new effects for old video that we are using. It's the first time we've used them today, so hopefully they work out okay. Just in case you think it was a fault on the video, it is a special effect we put in to make it look older uh, from the 1960s. Come 1964 we will have A little bit of colour and then from 1970 we shall go to 50% colour and then from 1975 on we will be back to ordinary up to date colours. A few different ways of doing it are going to be worked on within this series. Uh, 
down next screen now turn the sprayer on just to make sure it catches everything this Massey Ferguson 35 is working pretty well at the moment don't think we will get a new tractor anytime soon. We've got, as I say, we've got the loan to get paid off first. To this end, we will have to fold up the sprayer, go and fill it up again. Not going to bother. moving while we're folding up, don't want to bend the booms and around, around we go almost, I'd have thought, nearly halfway through this, well I suppose with the headlands done we are halfway now to finishing this field Perhaps you just didn't behind the trees a little bit while you're there, but uh, onto the grass we come, and then we shall back up into the area. Start spraying our fertilizer, filling our fertilizer tank. There we go, and now we should go and find the next breed we have soon got the trees to manoeuvre around and this one last breed here just on the edge of this piece here uh, this is the next breed we do. So uh, we now unfold our sprayer. And away we go again. Set it in gear and get that going. There we go. A few bits here where we had some wet holes where the crop hasn't grown but uh, can't do a lot about that now just need to concentrate on getting what crop has grown most of the crops growing actually just odd little patches here and there where we've got some wet holes in the field that haven't produced any crop Uh, still got a few minutes left on the spraying at the moment so hopefully she'll get through this field within the video down here now we're getting to the longer rows now rows that not only taking longer to get through, they will also use more chemical each breed we are working our way through the field nicely this 35 really is a good tractor for the spraying actually it's not too big and heavy to compact the soil we haven't got any care with spray wheels for this tractor that's the downside to the tractor it's not got spraying wheels so we've got to keep going with the, the wheels we've got now we need to come down this end and get up the next breed which is just here so 
Don't run into the edge too much. There we go. And now we can get one of the longer rows done. It is working pretty well this tractor. Every tractor we've got works pretty well actually so uh, although this may be if we do get a 35x which I'm told are coming out in 1961 and this will be the one that goes and the other one will then start off with doing a bit more work see what tractors manufacturers bring out going forward I mean like the Ford's and Super Major how long are they going to make that before they change it nobody yet knows Now we're into the crop now that's not as well advanced as this piece what we've been doing where we got to the end of one day when we was drilling and came back the next day the crop had already grown so you can see the, the different crops at the moment. We are almost through this field now. We are 39% full with the sprayer. You can see coming forward what yes, we should get past these trees okay this time I think. We might spill the sprayer over this end just to be on the safe side. Don't want to run out at the far end of the field. And is our sprayer going to get past that tree? It's going to be a just if it does. Yeah, just. So we will do this, this end here up to the tree. And that will then okay, stop there, fold up the sprayer. shall get down the rest of this breed get the pipe into the sprayer there we go there we go we are full it only holds 400 litres of chemical so uh, Not the biggest sprayer in the world. Here we go. Now we shall just spray around this tree. It may overlap a little bit coming back, but I'm sure. Now there we go. Spin around there. And up we go. This crop hopefully will catch up and be ripe by the time we get to it on both sides of the field. It would be a shame if we have to harvest half the field and then leave half until later. So The sky is nice and clear today as you can see there's no big black clouds to worry us, not the sort the of the rain day. clouds that we got. So hopefully it is going to stay fine today. We are almost through this field now.
probably one breed back up to this top end and we are finished we will have to move our trailer out of the way before we can yeah, the tractor's pulling pretty heavy here at the minute Hopefully we can get past this post as well as we did the tree, lovely so yeah this is getting through the field now nicely one more breed to the top we will of course fill the sprayer up before we start the next yeah. field just make sure we get around the outside now in here we come and one breed up to the top of the field to finish it we are running desperately low on money so good job that summer is on its way and we can get a cut of A to sell to your stables. Right, we want to go around the telegraph pole. Hopefully we're not going to hit it. There we go. And we should get back into our tram line again. Yeah, this is working nicely now. will work out nicely to get moved over Before the end of the video ok that is to the end we shall fold up the sprayer and we shall head down to the bottom of the field again go down one of our tram lines this track is now almost done 6 hours it will be well over 6 hours by the time you join us again it's only quarter past 8 in the morning so should get a good bit of this next field done we should get it finished actually in way this is going. Can we get out of here? Yes we can. And we shall just fill up the sprayer once we go out. We'll leave our tractor there as soon as we can get past it. And we shall get started in this next field. We've got three minutes left to spray in. So we want to get all these booms out. Away we go. And around the outside of this field. We'll just turn straight around there. That's lovely. Get around there nicely. We may get the this field finished and the potato field and sugar beet field before you join us again. Then we shall get the grass mower and wind rower and everything on these tractors ready for the next job. Now Ford's and Super Major will go on the baler with the bale trailer on to collect at the same time. Bale and collect unless of course we get another trailer to <coughs> Excuse me, collect them by hand and stack them on the trailer as best we can. May well be uh, as good an idea as any. To load them in a different trailer. Now we shall get to the end of here.
stop the sprayer and reverse ourselves up. And that is that done. Uh, one minute left, so we're not going to get around this field, but uh, we will get as far as we can before we have to leave you. This tractor not in need of a service I hope, let's just have a check that's 24 hours left before a service so it's okay yet it should get all the spraying done and all the corn carting this season before we need to give it a service this field we will just dive around there like so so that is all we've got time for for today hope you've enjoyed this trip back to 1960 here on Colbra Park Farm please give the video a like give it a share drop us a comment if you're new to Summer Farm Estates and you'd like to see more of the please work we do here to the channel hit that bell notification icon that will tell you when we do these videos when we do our live streams until next time thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now bye bye <laughs>